Uno, dos, tres. Woo! Oh. Fully embracing my semi-aquatic lifestyle. Uh, another day of work, swim, work, swim, work, swim, work, and always end on swimming. So that's what I recommend, especially when it's hot, even when it's not. All right, what do you say we talk about bananas? Come on, let's go. Let's talk about bananas. We're gonna go bananas and talk about bananas. Look at the banana. Look at the banana. <laughs> Planted this thing. A friend of mine gave me this thing. Oh, probably about uh, two years ago. As a little, maybe three. A little tiny nothing. So it's the best banana there is. I believe him. He knows what he's talking about. So, his name is Jeff. What's up, Jeff? Thanks for the banana. Uh, anyway, he was right. It's super awesome. I haven't eaten the banana yet, but I'm getting there. Uh, this thing is uh, out to propagate soon. First, right now, we're going to trim it for the very first time. So I'm going to do a before and an after. This is the before. Wait for the after. The after picture. How about that, huh? Nice, pretty trimmed up banana tree. Uh, I suggest if you're going to trim your banana tree up, you use a serrated knife, kind of like this. And if it comes from your kitchen, then I recommend not telling your wife and putting it back without her knowing you used it. So, um, just my personal uh, recommendation there. So, anyway, you want to get in tight, make it look really neat, you know, make these nice neat cuts as tight as you can to the trunk, peel off some of the garbage on the bottom, keep those neat cuts going all the way up, and you end up with a really beautifully neat uh, tree, just like this one here. And, I mean, look at this. It's like, I also suggest people that want tropical gardens plant these things amongst their rare palm trees. I have some very rare palms growing in here. They're gonna take a long time to grow up. They're starting to take off. But in the meantime, I'm fully satisfied my palm tropical craving by putting this banana tree in. Once the banana tree's gone uh, and expended of all its energies, the palms will be taking over. Anyway, so there's a little surprise in here that I wanna tell you about. My daughter wanted me to make a video, so here it is. This is for you, Raya. Here is your freak show banana. Look at this thing. It is so pretty. Look at the covering. Like you can tell, like it wants to shed the rain, uh, keep the flowers nice and dry for the bees to go in there and fertilize. Um, as you can see, this is a, there they go. This is how they do it. That's how they do it. They're making bananas. So here's the actual banana cluster up above. And uh, it's really impressive. I'm going to kind of clean it up by taking all these things out, these coverings out. I also don't want them to drop into the pool because that'll turn the pool green. Uh, so we'll get these a little later. Now these coverings are kind of cool because you can actually use them for different things. The thing that I like to use them for the most, when you turn them inside and out like this, um, they make for really, whoops, hold on. Everything's cool, hold on. They make for really interesting uh, costume attire. Yeah. It looks like a tongue. Does it look like a tongue to you? It feels like a big tongue. You could, you know, look this off like that. You know, so anyway, you can freak people out. You can freak people out with that pretty well. Uh, so you can also serve food in it. Maybe not after using it as a tongue, but maybe, you know, before that, there's plenty of them to go around. So anyway, you could serve hors d'oeuvres in that at a party. So collect all of your, your uh, flower uh, covers from your banana. The other thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna cut this flower off. This is what you wanna do. All that energy needs to be funneled into those bananas and not the, uh, I might do something really risky. Hold the phone with my mouth uh, while I trim. I can't drop it. It's a two, two hand job, double hand job. There we go. Let's do it, there we go. You gonna cut it out right here. Oh, 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 there we go. Yeah, people. I did it. Still have a phone. Didn't end up in the pool. Okay, so uh, you can take this in, clean it up, use it as an arrangement, just or just freak people out with it at a party. Uh, so there you go. We get a good look at that. So the other thing you can do, these banana leaves, I'm going to use these banana leaves for uh, 
uh, sheet mulching. They're really good, keep the weeds down and they'll return the nutrients into the soil. You don't want to off haul your nutrients. Uh, you keep them, get as many as you can. Get as much organic matter in your property as possible. And uh, here's your tongues, here's your flower, here's your big leaf. The leaf has multiple purposes. You can use it as an umbrella. It's got 101 uses at least. And uh, if you have a pig, you want to cook it, you can dig a hole and make a big fire pit, you know, and then uh, put your big in there and wrap it up with all these banana leaves. Keep the moisture on it, keep it clean. Same thing goes with if you're trying to roast agave. Uh, pinas, if you're trying to make some tequila, same thing. Just dig a big pit and uh, roast all of your hearts of uh, agave. And then uh, then you can, you know, ferment those things and, and then have some tequila to go with your, your roasted pig. Back to the bananas. It's always hard to stay on track. I don't know about you, but it's hard for me. Anyway, look at all the water coming out of there. Boop, boop, boop. So now all this energy is going to go into these bananas. It's going to fatten them up. And I'm not sure how long it's going to take. This thing flowered only maybe like about two months ago. So it seems to be a pretty fast process. You can even take stuff like this, throw it directly into your garden. And uh, that is how nature intended for it to be. Uh, so yeah, so I will follow up with this banana. Ultimately we'll have a taste test, but I do have high hopes for it. Uh, it reminds me of this restaurant in Santa Barbara. It had the coolest name ever. It was called Banana Reef. And I thought, wow, you know, what a great name. But then as you learn about where bananas grow, they don't really grow on reefs or even adjacent to them. Unless the reef is protecting a big swampy area uh, from erosion where the type of soil that the banana actually likes to live in. So we're going to get one last shot of the fruiting bananas and all the... It's like I've upset the bees. They're going around, freaking out, going, where's my flower? Where's my flower? You took my flower. Sorry, but uh, where is it? Can I see it in the camera? There's my big bunch of bananas. First big bunch of bananas in San Diego. And uh, I have high hopes for it. And uh, mostly this video is for uh, Raya. And this is the second video in the line of videos I'll take about this particular tree. Eventually we will propagate all of the babies off of it and uh, moving them up to the nursery. So you yourself can have this exact clone in your garden. Have some bananas. Bananas. Where are they? There they are. It's really bright out. You can't barely see the screen. Bananas! <laughs>